All right, guys, practice is over. Here we are Wednesday. Today we had the day off. So we have to practice Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We had Wednesday off today. Had to go get pictures of the boats and boat inspection and stuff like that today. So just got everything ready, rigged up. I'm ready to go tomorrow. Still don't have a boat number yet, but uh, you know, a little practice recap. Um, uh, you know, day one, only had three bites all day. Um, you know, that was, you know, south, you know, way south of St. John, St. George, you know, George, Astra area. So, day two, I went and locked through to Rodman um, and caught quite a bit of fish, but a lot of males. Um, I didn't catch any big ones, but it was a pattern that could evolve into females. So, I felt decent about that anyway, because this river is really hard to get bit in. So, we've had now four days of warm weather, new moon, not a full moon, new moon. Yesterday, 80s again, and the fish have moved up. They moved up. Um, I went to some same stuff that I fished on day one in that area. And uh, one place that there were some big ones in spawning last year for this Elite Series tournament. And I could not get in them. I couldn't, I couldn't get to them last year. If y'all remember, we had two days of extremely strong south winds. Two days was canceled because of the wind, so it blew all the water out of that place. Last year, I couldn't get to them. Um, they're in the same place, the same area. This year, I'll be able to get to them. And I found another area, too, um, where they're spawning. I'm not looking at them, which is a good thing. I don't want to look at them. Um, they're on the bank. They're spawning. They're where they should be. Um, had the hook been in, that Gamagatsu stinger hook, had the hook been in yesterday all the way around with the little uh, the little missile baits, the little 48. Um, yeah, got several bites. Um, I'm able to, too, when, you know, when I can, when those fish eat it that you know that shallow I can lean on them and bring them to the top and I can see them most of the time at least see how big they are before they spit it and um yeah it's the right size um, so a little nervous a little anxious we'll see what happens um, if, if some of those fish stay there and I don't have a lot of boat pressure on me I think I can catch them Day one, success. Uh, weighed in 22 and some change here. Day one, St. John's River. Only had four hours to fish today, guys. We had a four hour fog delay this morning, and uh, my goodness, what can I say? Um, 205, I had three fish for five pounds. Made a gutsy move. No, I wouldn't have but like 45 minutes to fish. Weighed in 22 and a half pounds in literally 40 minutes. Caught a 9 8. I did lose one that was between six and seven, which would be putting me in the lead right now. But caught a couple of fours and twos. There's a lot of fish in there spawning. So that's where I would have started this morning if we wouldn't have had a delay. So I went to another area that had big spawners in it too, but all the females vanished on me. So right move, last minute. Um, you know, this is a four day event though, not a one day. So I've got to put my head down tomorrow. I'm going to pick it apart. And there are more big ones in there. I did not get to fish all of it very optimistic um i'm ready day two here we come let's do this two and a half pound male just now off of bed. I didn't, I threw in there and got hit again. But again, I can't, and let's tell this, if that sun gets up high and I can see her, I can probably catch those fish. But I like to identify where I think they're gonna be spawning and make a long cast. Then try to get up there close to see if there was one there. But if I can get the element of surprise, they know we're here. Normally they'll eat the first time.
all right guys um here we go day number two uh finished weighing 16 pounds even still sitting in second place and a lot of you guys watched me on live today and i appreciate that um a lot of work to be done you know i got a big decision to make do what i keep what i've been doing but i feel like that's dying i don't know that i can win it there so i'm thinking about making a completely different change and going to rodman and maybe throwing that lipless around we're gonna have rainy cloudy conditions a little windy um which are more the conditions that i caught them in practice there and it's been in the back of my mind um so a lot of decisions to be made today but 16 pounds a day kept me in second place um but it's time day three is moving time and it's that's time to leave it all out there um big moving time i need to weigh in the biggest bag i possibly can to try to make the biggest move that i can on day three stay in the top 10 make it to sunday i want to win this one really bad tournaments are won and lost by decisions I gotta make a decision, stick to it, have confidence in it, and go get them. Focus, execute, repeat. So, I'll make that decision tonight, let you guys know in the morning. Dream big. All right, fellas, day three, still sitting in second place. Uh, man, looks like we might have a little bit of fog delay, um, but it's moving time. We gotta focus got to capitalize got to execute got to repeat um, catch everything that you possibly can to stay where I'm at and maybe even make a jump we're in the right area we're doing the right thing just got to execute got my boy Seth the cameraman that's right he's my boy so uh, hopefully this fog will not delay us too much today um, we can go get them. So uh, here we go. Dream big, guys. Classic qualifier from Beckham is in. All right, guys, St. John's River is now complete, back at the house. Um, you know, 
top 10 finish, you can't ask, you know, if you, if you go into any event and you said, man, if I could get out of here with a top 10, I'd be happy, you know. I am, guys. I, I, you know, awesome to make a top 10 to start the season. But at the same time, I wanted to win it. I really did. I was in contention all four days. Last day was extremely tough. I got five bites all day. Um, you know, I just ran out of fish in my primary area, ran a lot of new water, was able to weigh in just almost 10 pounds, uh, but finished the event at ninth. I slipped from third to ninth there on the last day. Um, but, you know, quick recap, guys. You know, y'all saw me on live with this little dude right here. That little Missile Baits 48, weightless, wacky. Um, that victory ride right there by St. Croix, 7.3, medium, extra fast tip, straight 15 pound braid. And that was the deal for me. I mean, almost every single fish that I caught during that event uh, came off of that setup right there. Uh, you guys noticed for three days, three of the four days, Matt Heron and I were sharing fish. Gosh, we took so many fish out of that area. Uh, it just kind of makes you wonder if one of us would have had it to ourselves, um, you know, what kind of weights we could have brought out of there. It was an absolute timing deal, but big shout out to Brian New for winning this title. Um, man, this is his rookie debut. That is just awesome. It was awesome to see. And, and witness that um but you know we have a really quick turnaround guys we head into the tennessee river next knoxville tennessee not a whole lot of history there but i have history there i fished the Bassmaster classic there in 2019 i'm very familiar with it i'm looking forward to getting there um it's going to be another shallow deal it's going to more than likely be a winding deal but uh but to a quick recap, St. John's River top 10, great, great start to the season. Thanks everybody for reaching out. That little Missile Baits 48 wacky has now put me in two top 10s, Santee Cooper last year and then St. John's River, guys. So if you don't have those 48s, you need to get some. They are the deal. Um, but guys, thanks everybody. That For everybody that, that reached out, top 10, but it's time to refocus to the Tennessee River and then we'll go from there. Thanks, guys. Dream big, and thanks for watching. Later.